Hey guys, this is the Gear Up Show, and today we're gonna to be talking about the Leecher Torch. And uh, if you're kind of into photography and outdoor videography and filming, you're probably very familiar with Leecher. Um, they're one of the coolest outdoor lighting companies out there, and they've got just a really great product. It's kind of the gold standard. Yeah. Um, but if you're into EDC, like we are, you may not have heard of this. It's a little bit different product than your typical EDC flashlight. Yeah. Um, but in this but, video, we're gonna talk about how it applies to you guys. Yeah, yeah. This is sort of an EDC review of the, of the torch. So this is actually the original Leecher torch, um, which we're selling on our website, and we're actually gonna be kind of clearing them out yeah. to make room for the new Leecher torch 2.0, which just came out. Um, so check in the comments, right? We're gonna have a little, we're gonna sweeten the deal a little bit if you wanna pick up one of these really cool Leecher torches yeah. at levergear.com. So one other little tidbit about the Leecher torch. I actually went to design school with one of the founders and the designer of the torch. So I know he's a great guy, super sharp, awesome designer. And when you see their, their product, you'll understand that, you know, it's always, it's top quality and second to none design. So just want to throw that out there. Yeah, yeah go Wolfpack. Wait, I did that wrong. <laughs> So what's that thing do? Yeah, so it's basically, they call it outdoor adventure lighting and it's a super bright yeah. LED flashlight. It's the sun in your pocket. Yeah, and um, you know, one of the differences between, between this and, well the obvious difference is it's a cube. Um, so it's not a typical sort of cylinder shaped flashlight. Um, but while most flashlights have sort of like a longer throw and a narrow beam and mm -hmm. are, are really focused, mm -hmm. this it has a sort of a broad, wide lighting it. Cool. So this uh, original one has an 80 degree angle. Uh, the newer one's a little, like I think 70. Mm. But um, this can get you uh, at low setting, it's 100 lumens, yep. then steps up to 450, and it maxes out at 800 lumens, which is right. super bright. Um, I, I, I don't know if it, like, will the camera pick it up if we try to pretend? We could try it, we could do. Yeah. Wait, I, well don't point directly. I don't know if that would hurt it or not. Like if you point directly, is it gonna hurt the sensor? But like, uh, you can probably see that. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the sun. Good. That's hot. And yeah. then it has an SOS feature, yeah. right? So if you're outdoors, you need assistance. Yeah, and as Aaron keeps it. telling us, don't stare directly into this. <laughs> <laughs> he has blinded himself about 10 times with it, but. The spots don't go away anymore. Yeah, so anyway, let's, let's uh, yeah, aside from like the super bright light, the wide angle, some of that, it's it's built really solidly. Yeah. You can see I've got a diffuser on here. So as I mentioned, it's used a lot for yeah. photography. And that comes with it. Um, and it comes with it. And it comes with some other some other uh, mounting options, which Aaron will get to. Yeah. But it's built like a brick. It's solid aluminum. And so it, it, the aluminum acts as a heat sink and kind of keeps it cool, mm -hmm. um, as cool as it can with, with 800 lumens. If you're, if you're blasting it at full blast. Right. It does have an auto shutdown feature if, if, the, if the unit starts getting too hot. So, um, but it's just really nice. It's waterproof. Uh, it's, a, it's a military drop spec. Maybe we can look yeah. it up on the on the package exactly what it is, um, and a lot of different different mounting features. Yeah. You want to uh, run run through different ways that we can mount this? Yeah. So I think this is kind of part of where it really shines. Uh, you have some standard options. So you have a standard DSLR camera mount, uh, a GoPro mount. But that, by the way, gives you it kind of opens up the doors to other options. So right. here we have. You got like a, you want one of these chest plates, right? You're going yeah, outdoors, yeah. you're going hiking or yep. something. You're scared of bears. Right. It's nighttime. You need a chest mounted Leecher torch. There you go. They got it. And you got your GoPro. They got these head, uh, head, head mounts. Light. Yep. This is, this makes sense. Now is that the GoPro head mount? Or yes the, it is, it's the GoPro. Because Leecher also has a head mount that they do as well, so. Well, I'm sure that you could get it from them, although, yeah. pro tip, if you go on Amazon, yep. you can buy all the GoPro accessories for yeah. like seven bucks. But I'm not telling point you to do that. Fits, point is it fits with GoPro, right? Yes, exactly. Yep. Um, and then they also have a clip, which they say you can use on your belt, but I've tried it on my like ball cap before. Yeah. And you know, it's not going anywhere. Right. So I think that's a solid option too. Now they also have, this is my favorite, by the way, this is my favorite way that it attaches. They have these little, uh, Magnets? Are yeah. they magnetic? It's a metal disc. Okay, it's a metal disc, but it has an adhesive on the back, and you can stick these things anywhere. And I do mean anywhere. Ooh. And it just, it just stays right there. So, like for a use case, which I guess is what uh, we're gonna kind of end on here. Yeah. Uh, let's say you want to put one of these on the hood of your uh, truck. Right, I'm sorry. What am I trying to say? 
<laughs> but you're trapped. Yeah. Okay. If it's nighttime. Well, that makes it sound like the hood. That makes it sound like it's it's on the top of. I mean, like under the hood of your under truck. Under the hood. Under the hood of your truck. There you go. So if you're like, uh, it's raining. Your engine is on fire. You're on yeah. the side of the road. You get a fire extinguisher. You put it out. What's going on? You can't see anything. Yeah. You can't reach the Yeah. And a lot of flashlights have that magnetic thing, but this is going to give you a nice bright, wide, bright light, light everything up. Um, yeah. So. I mean, I guess that leads into some some uses that yeah. we talk about. Um, you know, how is this an everyday carry product? Yeah. Um, I wouldn't necessarily keep it in my pocket. Yeah, it's a little chunky to keep in your pocket. Um, you know, it's just the, the way the form factor is. It is a cube, um, but you could. I mean, it fits fine in your pocket, but um, it's more more suitable, I think, for like a bag or a yeah, glove box for or sure. something. Um, I think it's definitely worth keeping in your car because yeah. um, you can light up. I mean, it's like turning day on yeah yeah if you're out and you know out at night and you just want some light for anything you know you're shooting hoops this is gonna light whatever, up the whole backyard what else can it do <laughs> well i was i was just gonna say if you're you know you don't have to be a professional photographer to get some good use out of this i mean nowadays it seems like everybody's either shooting video right. or taking photos selfies whatever and if it's like a little bit dark or dusk or, you're or even filming, nighttime, you can just you just you just have this with your camera you know you use your flash if you need but just just Popping that on. So oh, perfect, thank you. Gives you a lot of extra light to light up the scene. So uh, it's really for anybody and, and kind of any time when it's dark and you need light. Yeah. And it's fun to click. Oh, it also has this strobe feature, which I've just turned yeah, on. Yeah, that's the SOS feature. Yeah, and then it's not SOS. It is SOS. It is? It is SOS. Just steady blinking. Let's see. Hmm. S O. S. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. I, well, whatever. It, I feel like if you're in an, a helicopter and yes. you see that, you're going to recognize someone's in distress. Yeah. And they have the light of the sun in their pocket. So. Yes, exactly. Thank um, you, Jen, for the golf clap. <laughs> so I would say that it's good for like camping, yep. if you're going caving. Diving, Spelunk, it's, it's waterproof. I yeah. don't know if we said that yet. We probably did. It is waterproof. But, yeah. But if you're going underwater and you wanted like, yeah, I think their, ori their original video had um, filming them swimming underwater. There was also a surfer who was using it with his GoPro, surfing at night, That's lighting up the rad. whole wave. Yeah. So if you're if you're into eat, doing that every day, this is the light for you. Yeah, yeah. Um, if you're boring, a... stay at home. Another. I know what I was gonna say. Oh, also, oh, yeah, yeah. if you uh, if you want to light something, like if you want to light yourself, Ooh, you a just selfie, boom. if you will. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you yeah. mentioned all the quarter twenty mounts on this. There's there's one in the back yeah. and one on the bottom. So that's a common mount. Yeah, you can mount it in a lot of different ways. So quarter twenty is that the common or the esoteric way of saying yeah, camera, camera DSLR? Mount. Yes, okay. and. Um, also, you know, with the GoPro stuff, you can mount it to your bike if you're riding at night or, yeah. or, or whatever, and it's really gonna just light up everything for you. So really, you can, you can attach it to anything, because yep. at this point, GoPro, DSLR mounts, like all of those mounts are so common yeah. that if you can imagine it, it's probably out You can out imagine there it's there, and uh, yeah. So check it out at levergear.com. We're gonna, like we said, we're gonna make a little deal around this, and yeah. yeah. See you next week.